Now, as the world marks the 30th anniversary of the United Nations World Press Freedom Day today, various countries are still grappling with the upholding of press freedoms as evidenced in the World Press Freedom Index released by Global Media Watchdog Reporters Without Borders. Now, the World Press Freedom Report of 2023 notably warns that disinformation and artificial intelligence poses a mounting threat to journalism. The index also shows the effects the digital ecosystem's fake content industry has had on press freedom. Let's now take a look at some of the country's performances. Norway in position one, marking the top country in the world where press freedom is upheld with a global score of 95.18. Ireland is second with a score of 89.91, followed by Denmark, Sweden and Finland. Ireland is second with a score of 89.91. Now, Morocco and the United Arab Emirates are the last two countries on the global index. Namibia is the first African on the index in position 22 on the global index, followed by South Africa in position 25. Kenya lies at position 116 of the World Press Freedom Global Index. against media and journalists in 2022. The Media Council documented 104 incidences, which were the highest ever recorded in the past five years. Anybody, whichever position you hold in the media space, must stand up and protect that press freedom and mostly what we call uh, in that space editorial discretion, that you will not dictate to an editor what they have to do as long as it's accurate information, as long as it's information that is good for public consumption, we must let editors do that work and protect their freedom to do it. Dekin Slovanda, a news editor at Hope Media, says that freedom of journalists has not been welcomed quickly, especially in the rural areas, where it seems the journalists' voices are not heard. Uh, uru wa wanabari nchini Kenya, upo wa unikana kuwa kisheria ndiyo, lakini mashinani ya makijijini uh, uru huo unikana ni kama umefanywa ku, uh, kufinywa kiasi cha kwamba wanahabari hawezi kujieleza kwa uwazi. Kwa hivyo ni jukumu la serikali na vyombo vya dola nchini kwa kisha kwamba wanakumbatia kwamba wanahabari hawezi kufanya kazi yake na pia aweze kuwa sheria na kuonesha kwamba mambo jinsi yalivyo yanavyotendeka mashinani Today the safety of journalists still remains low and this calls for immediate intervention from the law enforcers government and the media leaders Whenever journalists are covering a certain story they have some sort of fear but there are those who have said whatever comes they will do their level best to stand with the truth and we've seen many and others whose lives were threatened but at some point they realized that they were standing for a noble cause and for the truth and definitely the truth came out regarding whatever it is that they were uh, they were uh, they were broadcasting or they were following up i really appreciate the job that they do really really appreciate and daily i pray for them i really pray for them and when they go out there and when they are back and when they present what they found out, it's also a risk. Because if they bring something into the open about a person who was walking in darkness, that means they can be a target. But I thank God that uh, when we pray, some of us who pray for them, I do pray for journalists, is that they are protected and covered. But there is a lot to celebrate in the media industry and in Kenya at large as far as the media coverage of the news is concerned. Even in the neighboring countries, locals also hail the media as a key and among the most believable sources of information in Kenya. We have a lot to celebrate as journalists and practitioners in this media industry in Kenya and in East Africa as a whole, especially the East Africa community bringing in countries like uh, Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania and you know breaking the barriers that used to, be ex to exist before. We are able to venture out into these countries and actually get stories from as far as our borders, uh, places like Busia, you know, that borders Kenya and Uganda, and all over. However, Kenyans have been urged not to tire of reminding the government of the need to respect the commitment to the press freedom. Wito wangu kwa wanahabari wenza na wakenya kwa ujumla ni kuwataka tu kwa mba waendele kuwa na nguvu kila wanapofanya kazi kwa wanahabari, wanahabari waweze kupewa motisha, waweze kumbatiwa, waweze kuonekana kama kiyo cha jamii, waweze kuonekana kama mandugu, madada, wasi kama 
ni maadui katika jamii la hasha wana habari wote sio Kenya tu bali katika ulimwengu mzima mwafanya kazi bora mwafanya kazi nzuri na kile mnapopatana na changamoto msionekane kama ambao mnaweza basi kuyumbishwa la hasha changamoto kwa habari ni kwamba zidi kufanya kazi na changamoto kwa kwa raia kote ulimwenguni ni kwamba tukumbatie wana habari tukumbatie wana habari tuone kama wenzetu As journalists continue to celebrate their day today, calls are still being made to the government to strengthen their security, especially as journalists continue to carry out their duties. Dolly Murugimbovi for Hope TV, Nairobi.